It's the Tell Me Something Good podcast. Because we believe that there is still good in the world. Hi, I'm Lori Gray. And I'm Rob Joe. We talk about the good things happening at Christ United Methodist Church here in Greensboro, North Carolina. And we have a little fun, too. We're so glad you're here. Rob Joe, you ready? Yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Or podcast. <laughs> yes. Let's get this podcast on the road. Hello, Rojo. Good morning, Lori. How are you? I'm great. It's another week in the life of Christ Church. Yes. It's I'm a beautiful good. fall morning here it in Greensboro. Is. It's had a bit chilly, but it's going to warm up and mm-hmm. be beautiful. Yes. And the leaves are changing. Yeah. The tank it's is a, clean. <laughs> the sun is shining. The tank is clean. The tank is clean. A favorite Finding Nemo reference of ours. Yes. We say it a lot. Um, <laughs> so... You know, we got to start out in true form and talk about <clears throat> what happened great at our church in the past week and what's coming up. So what's your tell me something good for the week, the um, past week? So yesterday, um, slightly personal, but, uh, but mainly professionally. So this year I am a friend in faith, which is basically a confirmation mentor, like when I was coming through, but I love the the terminology, the phrase friend in faith. So I'm a friend in faith this year and I'm a Bible buddy, which just means I'm kind of also walking alongside a third grader as they spend this year with Miss Crystal and the other leaders learning about their Bibles, how to use it, etc. So yesterday was third grade Bible presentation. So I was able to be with my Bible buddy and uh, my confirmation mentor, I mean, co- confirmation friend in faith. And I gave the devotion at confirmation yesterday. So it was just a really fun, big day for for our church, but really like for me as well. Yeah, it's awesome. I love um, I love being a friend in faith. Yeah. I am taking a year off. <laughs> yes. A little hiatus. I'm taking a little hiatus. But um, I, I do, I love, I love doing that. And I'm a um, I'm a Bible buddy this year. I haven't Look at met, you I go. haven't met this is my first time being a Bible buddy. Mm. Um, Because I usually only do one because it feels a little overwhelming to my little brain to do both of those things. I couldn't say no to my friend in faith and Bible buddy this year. They're both very special. Well, yeah, I mean, I get that. But yeah, it was yesterday was precious. We know the third grade Bible ceremony at 11 o'clock was so sweet. I loved that. Um, We had a great turnout yesterday for Rise Against Hunger. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we had um, our a few of our Gen X people got together after that last night. We didn't have a big turnout for that because I think a lot of people were, there's just a lot going on right now. But sure. um, but one of the the people that showed up for our dinner last night was talking about how, what a great turnout it was. And mm-hmm. um, he and his son do it together. Oh, nice. Um, that's like a thing because his son just loves it. He loves carrying the heavy yeah. boxes and um of food. So anyway, it was a it was a great it was a it was a great day in in the church yesterday. Yeah. So was that your tell me something good or do you have another one for us? Yeah. No, I think that's it. Just just all of the good things happening and you know, we're still so um you know, the because of you yesterday, the generosity moment in our worship service um was a, you know, a celebration of um what we've been able to do as a church so far for sure. our um, the people suffering from all the Hurricane Helene effects. And um, one thing that I didn't really realize when we recorded that last week is that we actually have, I said, and we're preparing more buckets. So we've already sent out like 80 buckets have been mm-hmm. delivered, but there's another 106, I think, that we're going to be whoa, able to whoa, prepare. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I know. So we've gotten, because people could sponsor a bucket. So yeah. we have that money. So that money coupled with, you know, the additional buckets that people have done, where it's another 106 buckets, I believe. So anyway, that's, that's just, yeah, all all good things. Um, so, and, and then, oh, well, and really another tell me something. <laughs> I just, things keep popping in my head. I love it. Um, our nine o'clock worship yesterday, people were in tears, just overcome with just being in the presence yeah. of God yesterday during our worship service. The music was really, really touching for them yesterday. So I had a number of people because I was kind of standing at the doors as people were coming out and I mean, wiping tears away. And mm-hmm. then they said it was and then they got a little comic relief at the end, which, you know. Uh, yes, the end. Well, so. Let's, can we discuss the Halloween carnival video? Sure, trunk or treat? sure, sure, sure. Go for it. So, okay, I, it was 
it just seemed a little bit chaotic to me when I was watching it. I was yeah. like, wow, I don't think I talk that fast. Well, then you disclosed to me that you sped up the video a little bit, yeah. which made us look even <laughs> crazier than we already are. And so it was very funny. It was well received. But, yes. you know, they were like, wow, you were super excited. And yeah. I said, well, luckily I mean, you had told me yeah. right before. Yeah. In, you know, worship that. Sure. Well, I had to speed it up a little bit. I'm like, a little bit. Yeah. I look like One, we look like a crazy. We're like crazy. 1.2x. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that, that was like no wonder they were like that was just the funniest thing. And I'm like, is it? It's not really that funny. Okay. Well, if it's yes, it's funny because it was sped up. <laughs> we or I found the the audio clip I wanted to use like underneath or like you know like in the background. And because I I just couldn't come across one that wasn't like overly like spooky and weird. Yeah. Um, that was like playful enough and like also had like a Halloween feel to it. So I'm like, hmm. Well, I can speed them up a little bit, you know. <laughs> and it, it was just fun because it was already like a like a wild and zany kind of it feel was wild to the video. And zany. Yeah. And then just got it, even more. He so. just ramped it up. Yep. Yep. So yeah, and everybody's like, yeah, you were super excited, and I'm like, well. I mean, I, I was. We were having fun with it, but... That was only 10 a.m. That was Yeah, that was at 10 a.m. <laughs> That's after the Ooh, first cup of coffee it was a kicked lot. in. Yeah, it was a lot. But anyway, but it was yesterday was a it was a good day here. It was, it was a, a good day. day. So, I mean, I really, I feel like every Sunday is a good day here. Um, so, anyway, yeah, that's all my... I had That was a lot of tell me something good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Next, um, one week from today... Uh, we're recording this on the 21st of October. So in one week on October the 28th, we will be hosting a pickleball interest meeting and a play, t uh, like a play day. So if you are either a pickleball fanatic or you're just interested in the sport itself, we invite you to join us um, in the Christchurch gym from 615 to 730. And again, that will be an interest meeting for all ages and stages and just come ready to play. Yeah, so be really fun. have you ever played pickleball? I have not. I looked at pickleball paddles on Amazon last night because I thought to myself, well, I'll just buy a paddle and go out and play. The ones that first came up when I started looking, expensive, very expensive. But obviously, like, there were other ones that were less expensive. I probably was looking at the Primo ones. I have not looked at pickleball paddles. I have not looked at pickleballs. I have not looked at nets or anything because I am not going to play. I am not competitive enough. I don't care. I will lay down on the court and you can just, <laughs> I do not want to play. I do not. But I appreciate that other people enjoy it. Sure. Other people are competitive. Like my friend Andy, she loves it. Well, I feel like if I were to go and enjoy it enough to buy a paddle after we were done, I'd be interested in that because I'd have one so I could socially just play as people ask. But no, I've never played before, but I'm I'm super excited that we're doing that. Um, a couple months ago, Crystal Pruitt and I went on, on a couple of different like co campus tours, I guess you could call them, of different United Methodist and other larger churches in our area, just trying to gain some wisdom on how they um, kind of have things laid out. And so my point in saying all this is that when we went down to Charlotte, one of the United Methodist churches we went to um, to visit every afternoon, they have like an open gym of sorts in their gym for people to play pickleball. And apparently they're always just like not packed, but they're all pretty consistently booked, you know. Um, and that's not something that we're necessarily looking into doing, but I just thought it was so cool that, you know, churches and, and community organiz or community hubs of sorts um, have this as an option for people to come in and just use their facility. Well, I mean, so Pastor Garrett, uh -huh. as we sometimes refer to him, G Money or PG, uh, I'm, first of all, I'm sure he's going to have a couple of extra paddles later yeah, on so yeah. you can try it. But his his whole thing, so he's kind of been the one that spearheaded all of this. Sure. And and he taped down the, you know, put the courts, laid them out in the gym and everything, bought the nets. Um, his idea is that we we do a lot of sedentary things yeah. as, you know, not, not just older adults, but uh, us, the adults, like the kids are always running around and playing our youth. Sure. But us as adults, we tend to sit and do Bible study and do worship and do like, we are always sitting. So this was a way for him to kind of introduce into our church. Like, Hey, here's a fun 
adult activity to get you up and get you moving. Sure. And, um, so I love that. I think that's great. Yeah. Um, you know, the, I, I think that the goal is at either to do it at night because we have, you know, we have after school programs and yep. stuff and, and um, mom's morning out in the morning. So it's probably going to be evenings and maybe Saturdays and Sunday afternoons or something like that. I don't know what his plan is, but I know he's also been in contact with Westminster Press, which mm -hmm. is just around the corner. And they are building outdoor courts. And so oh, I wow. think maybe we might get a little competitive with them. <laughs> not me. I'm not getting competitive with anybody, but some of our congregation that likes to play pickleball, like I know Cindy Dunning is one of yeah. those. I saw her okay. tagged on Facebook um, when this when this whole thing came up. Anyway, we just went off on a tangent on pickleball. So, what else do we have? <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm I'm super excited to hear that we have a new Welcome Wednesday class starting soon. Oh yeah. Um, it's entitled Dreams: Guidance from Within: A Christian Perspective with Mike Dowdy. Dowdy, yeah. is that right? Darty. Darty. Sorry, Mike Darty. Yeah. Uh, and that begins on October the 30th. So that's coming up very soon. <clears throat> yeah. And then um, and then the following Wednesday on November 6th, there's a really short, I think it's a three-week class, um, Is There Such a Thing as Good Grief with um, retired pastor Randy Hall. Yeah. So he, um, and, and that should be great. I, sure. I really like him a lot. Um, so, yeah, if you want to learn more about those, you can visit ChristGreensboro.org forward slash welcome hyphen Wednesday. And you can learn about all the classes that are going on and what meals we're going to be serving. Um, we'd love for you to join us for a meal on Wednesday nights. It's $8 mm -hmm. for adults, $5 for uh, the kiddos ages 4 to... 11 or 12? 12. Yeah. And then free for children under 4. Yeah. Because they don't eat much. Or if they do, they just... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, and what I love about the fact that we have... Well, A, just so many different offerings, but B, some of these shorter offerings is um, back during the season of Lent that we were in, and, you know, the, I guess, March, April time frame, um, Pastor Nikki led a, a, a small group about John Wesley's three general rules. Oh, yeah. And um, I appreciated that because I kind of like those short stint sort of studies. Um, it was super engaging and, um, you know, just like just enough to kind of wet your whistle and then like you could run off and study more or have more conversation with that leader. But yeah, we would highly encourage you to jump in with Welcome Wednesday if you haven't already. Yeah. So one thing we cannot forget to mention because it is this coming Sunday mm -hmm. is Trunk or Treat and yeah. Carnival. So it's at four o'clock, our parking lot, and then the Carnival will be in the gym and you're going to be part of a trunk. Yes, my family has a trunk. Yes, uh -huh. I'm going to be part of a trunk with the mm -hmm. the gorees. Um, I get to I get to wear. I'm dressing up like a Jedi, a Jedi nice. knight. I'm so excited. I got to put batteries in my lightsaber. Okay. Um, and then um, so anyway, that's going to be super fun. Garrett, Pastor Garrett, has uh, come up with some new fun games for the carnival, awesome. which I'm super excited to see because I saw one of them that he's doing. I saw it on the TikTok, and so. Uh -huh. I'm excited to see that like actually come to life in front of my very eyes. So we hope that you will join us um, on October 27th from um, starting at four o'clock in our parking lot on the gym side. And then the carnival will be in the gym. So just come out for some fun and some fellowship and bring the kiddos, bring the grandkids, you know, whoever come, come see us. It'll be super fun. Well, with that being said, I think that we have most of our, week laid out for you and we can't wait for you to come and be a part of it yeah it's gonna be a it's gonna be a real good time at the church this coming week you know halloween's kind of my diggity i love it <laughs> so i'm excited i've got a, a good two weeks coming up where mm -hmm. I can, i've got multiple costumes laid out for my <laughs> for my for, for my time. endeavors yeah yeah so it's gonna be super fun um anything else you got anything I don't think so. You good? I think I'm good. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate you hanging out with us yeah. for these few minutes that we've been chatting. And if you heard something that you want to learn more about, you can visit our website at ChristGreensboro.org. Um, or you can email us. Yeah. Feel free to send us an email with any kind of specific questions or um, things that you might have on your mind. And that is info at ChristGreensboro.org. Yeah. And we would love to meet you in person. So if you are listening to us, if you're one of our listener <laughs> if you're one of our listeners. If you're one of our listeners and you want to just come hang out and learn about our church, 
um, meet Rob and or me or both of us, you can come see us on Sunday mornings. We have a contemporary worship service at 9 a.m. and a traditional service at 11. And our mission here at Christ Church is to embrace all people with the boundless, boundless love, love of God. God. So we hope that you will come and feel um, seen and heard and welcomed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all that stuff. Well, we again we thank you, and we'll look forward to <laughs> look forward to checking you in. Well, my gosh, you say it. I can't even say it. We what? are so glad that you've decided to be with us, and we <laughs> look forward to checking in with you next week. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Yeah, we have more fun stuff coming up that yes. we are going to want to talk about. So anyway, I, I restrained myself just a little bit because I saw a couple more things, but it's not for a few <laughs> weeks, so we'll talk about it next week. Great. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye.